What's going on guys? Christian here and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to automate your Galaxy S10, Note 10, um, Note 10 Pluses, and the Galaxy Fold. Or probably any new Galaxy beyond that will also include this feature. Um, so this is basically a setting that comes on all the new devices that um, makes your phone use machine learning in order to pretty much make your life a lot easier by automating routines that can either be set up uh, manually by yourself or you can use some of the preset ones on the phone. So for example, um, if you fall asleep without putting your phone on the charger, it'll automatically put it into power saving mode. If you're going to class or to a meeting or at work, um, you can set it to automatically put it on vibrate for you during that time frame and then that can either be based on time, location, as well as um, Bluetooth connections for if you're in the car, it gets to do settings for that. So to access this setting on your phone, you want to go to the settings menu, which I have up here. Again, to get to that is pretty easy, just pull down, and you see the little gear icon right there, you click on that. So then from here, you're going to go ahead and you can go to advanced features. So you can either go there or you can go to the search bar at the top here and just search for Bixby routines. If I could spell it and there, that'll take you right to it. It'll highlight it at the top there. So make sure it's on. And then from there, you can just go ahead and click on Bixby routines. So you, at the bottom, you can see we have discover as well as my routines. So if you go to my routines, you can see which ones you have on and which ones you have active. So if you have them um, saved to your device, they'll show up on the screen. And then the little toggle switch right here that I'm flicking, that one's going to turn it on and off so that if maybe you don't want to go into power saving mode at night, if you forget to plug it in, you can just turn that off. Um, I want to keep that on, so we'll keep that on there. So then if you go ahead and click on the ones you have, it shows you basically an if-then statement. So for this one, it's if sleeping, which is going to automatically detect using machine learning um, based on your usage patterns, as well as if you have the phone on, what time of day it is, etc. Um, it's also going to use a charging status of not charging. Then it's going to go into medium power saving so that it doesn't use up all your battery that night. Um, in addition, there's driving, school before bed. That's what I have on. So if we go down to the Discover tab, you can see it has a bunch of different ones here that you can actually set up. Um, good morning, we'll get you ready in the morning. You can go ahead and click on them. It'll tell you what it'll do. If wake up time, auto detect. Um, then it's gonna turn your always display on to on in case you have it off at night. And you can set uh, lock screen shortcuts to change to different things as well. Um, you can even go ahead and hit edit down at the bottom left. And it'll first take you to the if statement. So um, say we want to add something else to that if statement. Just go ahead and click the plus. So we can say maybe this is only going to be at 11 o'clock in the morning. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The weekends we want to sleep in maybe. Go ahead and click done. So it's going to add another if statement to it. Then you can go ahead and click next. And then um, here you can have then statements where it will be what's going to happen once you have those um, trigger it. So um, we have always on display and the lock screen shortcuts. So if we want to add something else, you can go ahead through here and you can set connections to turn on and off, such as Bluetooth, mobile hotspot, mobile data, etc. You have sound and vibration, so you can set um, dial the bad tone, do not disturb, all those things. You could set um, your sound mode to vibrate, sound, or mute whatever you want. Um, a lot of these you can go through and look at yourself. I'm not going to read every single one. Display settings, accounts, you can turn auto sync on and off. Uh, functions, you can make it do certain things when it triggers that. So say you want the phone to beep or you want it to turn on a flashlight when something happens. Those are all available down in the functions tab. Um, so let's just say we wanted to make it beep when it goes on. And then after that, you would just go ahead and click on done. And now, as you can see, we have good morning has popped up in our Bixby routines. 
And if you click it, it shows all the settings that we had set up there um, in this screen. So some of the ones that I use, let me just delete this one quick because um, I'm not going to use that. So I have the save battery at night on. Um, this way my phone doesn't die when I'm driving in the car. Um, it's going to automatically detect using Bluetooth. We're going to pop our Wi-Fi off and turn the sound on so that I can hear it. Um, obviously you're going to have music playing in the car, so uh, you might not hear it if it's just on vibrate. So we'll turn the sound up so that we can still get notifications. Um, see if so I'm a student, so if we have school set up here, um, this is showing that if I arrive at a specific place, it's going to then turn the sound mode to vibrate. So when I arrive to class, um, it's going to put my phone on vibrate so that it's not going off. And then I have it set up. Um, I'm not going to open up the home one because that'll have my address. But if I go to the home one, it has um, pretty similar to the school where it will say that um, once I arrive to this location, it'll turn the sound back up since I'm at home and I would want, want to hear the notification sounds. Um, again, similarly, I have a work one set up and then I also have before bed, um, that one's gonna auto detect and um, the features on that will then be vibrate and dark mode so that I'm not being woken up in the middle of the night by my phone ringing or anything like that. Um, now in my routines, you can also just create your own custom routine. You don't have to always use this discover page. Um, you can go through and look at which ones they have here, but maybe there's not one there for you. So if that's the case, then you can go ahead and go to the add button in the top here. And you can do a completely custom command with the if statement. Just go ahead and click on the plus button and you can go through and pick whatever you want to be the if statement. So let's say if we get an incoming call, go next, then we want to put on, I don't know, we'll just do something stupid here. Just bring the brightness all the way up and hit done. And that's gonna then bring your brightness all the way up to 100% when you're getting an incoming call. Don't know why you would wanna do that, but just for these purposes here, that's what we're going to do. And then you can just go ahead and click on done. You're going to name it. Uh, we'll just leave it as incoming call and go ahead and click done. And then bam, there it is. It's going to run whenever we have an incoming call. Now it's going to set the brightness up to hundred percent. I don't want that to happen. So we'll just delete that quick. Um, but yeah, guys, this is an awesome feature on the new galaxies. It has made my life a lot easier. Um, you know, you wouldn't think throwing your phone on vibrate is that big of a deal, but it does definitely save you time. doesn't make you pull your phone out as often because it's doing all of this stuff automatically that normally you'd have to pull your phone out to do. Um, definitely recommend looking into this. And that is all I have for you guys for now. If you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more videos similar to this, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments on the video or things you want to see, throw them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.